There is still the prelude. Hmm. How long is it though? Oh, interlude, sorry. Um. I mean, if it's an interlude, it's probably going to be short, right? Sure. Let's play it now. Cool. Got it. Uh, please? Okay. There we go. Hopefully it's not too long. <sighs> Mother. Father. What should I even do now? Vampire fanatic noble girl. Lane rhyme voice. Also, there's her other self behind her, and also her nobility dropped to one. Jersey was the f five out of five, which, yeah, five star. And I wonder. What's this loneliness I've been feeling since I came here? Or am I feeling out of place? Or that I have no place? Even though, surely I chose this myself. It's already been a week since then. And all that time, I ended up staying cooped up in this room. I keep thinking how much I wished that incident had just been a dream. Okay, now it's done. Lord Arn told me to make a stuffed toy, so I did my best and... Yep, it's cute. I used to sue with Mother after all. Thanks to her, now it's one of my skills. But... What did... What did he... Have me make this for? First things first. I'll take it to Lord Arn. He should be able... He should be in his detective office. Go meet Arn. It's the meal I had earlier. Even if I'm not doing anything, I still get hungry after all. Oh wait, that's the picture! That's cute. They act she actually has it framed and hung up. Also, there's a hole here. Alright, I guess it doesn't mean anything. What? Oh, you came to take my dishes, right? Thank you for everything. Yeah, thank you for everything you do, Miss Brownie. The brownies handle all sorts of jobs in this castle. From cleaning to preparing food for me. There are species often referred to as cleaning fairies, it seems. There are a lot more brownies besides her. I don't know how many there are in total. In fact, it seems the brownies took up residence here, and Lord Arn is just leaving them be. At first, I tried to help out myself, but they wouldn't let me interfere. It's not like I'm accustomed to doing chores. So I'm very grateful for it, but it leaves me with lots of time on my hands, so I get thinking about things I don't really want to. I understand that I can't just stay like this, but <sighs> I go see Lord Arn. Let me just, yeah, just need to turn that on. Slap me. The device that opens the treasure vault. 
Why use this, I wonder? I don't need anything from the vault right now, so I don't need to slap it. Thanks for your hard work. Why did the lights just turn dead? This is the brownie who guards the treasure vault. Apparently the brownies are paid for their work by being allowed to take things from here as they please. A world of difference from the guard at my house. There's nothing for me this way. Fine, bitch. Could you shut up for the smallest moment? Cut it out already. That's Lord Arn's voice. Is he talking to Jishia? I owe a lot to Lord Arn and Jishia, so I don't want them to see me too depressed. Alright, me, put on a smile. Wait, no, I wanted to talk to the brownies. Uh, give Lord Arn, Lord Arn the stuff toy. Lord Arn, I finished the stuff toy. Ah, so it's done. A vampire detective with two hearts. Arn Neon Toot. Nine Toot. Something like that. I forgot. What were you talking about with Jishia? Actually, it wasn't Jishia. Now I can actually be free of that annoyance. Go on, place that toy down. Okay. Well, what do you think? Is it not absolutely adorable? Indeed. It isn't at all adorable. H hold on, it's cute, you're so mean. I thought you were saying it wasn't cute, so I just agreed with you. Well, I don't especially care what it looks like. I worked hard on that, you know? So, what are you going to do with it? I'll get while you sleep? Truly, Lin Rhymeweiss. Does your idiocy know no bounds? Be quiet and watch. <laughs> Sorry, got tea. Alright, let's do this. What's about to happen? Ooh, evilly! Don't jump the gun, idiot. Sorry. <laughs> click the crest. I'm holding my mug. All right. Um. All right. Click the crest. Trace the crest. I have no space to move the mouse. Also, why? Uh, so nothing happened? Don't be so quick to say so. Huh? It's move- Wait, it grew wings too. Oh my god. <laughs> First an old coot, and now what kind of body is this? What? Did it just talk? That's so damn cute! You're just as noisy when I let you out, Naxera. Naxera? One of the Nine Kings, Naxera. I think this is the first time we got like a profile of him. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I'm the great Nakzera. First up, I ought to greet you, runt, by sucking your blood. Uh, uh, my body ain't moving how I'd like it. Hey, stop! What an imbecile you are. Lynn Rhymevice, catch that thing. Uh, me? 
You don't want the toy you worked so hard on you worked so hard on go to waste, do you? I I wouldn't know. Understood. Go went to catch the stuffed toy running around. I caught it! He has saved me, runt. <laughs> that was a that was quick. <laughs> Both of you were delightful. Damn it. I'm gonna murderize you so hard. Uh, I feel terrible. That wasn't delightful at all. What is this? Please give me an explanation. I obtained this fellow's heart earlier, remember? I was glad to get it back to my body, but for some reason its consciousness wouldn't go away. Despite saying he'd stay put after losing to me. He's been talking to me and being a pest all this time. So, I thrust him out. Thrust him out? So that's what you had me make the toy for. Indeed. I wanted a suitable container for him. I'm as surprised as you over here. Never thought I'd get to have a fun time chatting with you. Blech. Even if he's out now, he's still annoying. It doesn't seem... It doesn't seem anything like this happened back when we were... Immune to... Nine... Nine toot. Though, neither I nor Nakzera remember how... Remember much about it. But is that okay? Letting him out like this? He's one of the Vampire Kings, remember? Though, I did catch him easily, and this appearance does make it hard to see him as dangerous. No, there is no issue. This stuffed toy contains a mix of my blood and Naxera's blood, but... Naxera's heart is inside me... Naxida's heart is inside me. As such, I have control. Currently, I simply transferred Naxida's personality from his heart to the staff toy. It's the same principle I use to control bats remotely. I... I think I kind of get it. Naxida, meanwhile, is able to move around freely by controlling his blood, but... If I order it, his personality can return to me, and he'll also return if he's too distant from his art. So, he can't defy your orders? And he can't run too far. I get it. So, he's like a dog being walked on a leash. Who are you calling a dog? So that's that, Lin Reinweiss. You should take him back to your room. I've been listening to him bladder f blabber for a week straight. Let me take some time alone to relax. I'm going to be alone with Noxera? Uh, um... Worry not. He seems for a precise blood manipulation. Anything like attacking you should be impossible. But... Go on, get out. Let me be alone. Uh, understood. Leave Nagzira to me, and get some good rest, Lord Arn. Indeed, I'll do so. Okay, we're going now, Nazars. Who are you calling Nazars? Oh, hold on, don't be so rough with me. Wait, no, I wanted to do that one at all. <laughs> Looks like fun times, huh? Shishia? I'm back. An advisor living within mirrors. I finally finished explaining the sitch to all the residents of Lugenburg. In the end, it seems everyone gets it, but it was rough, you know? Don't complain to me about something you decided to do all on, all on your own. Come on, at least let me whine a little.
But now you'll be able to take Lin into Lugenburg. If she stays cooped up in this ancient castle, she's gonna start growling. She's gonna start growing mold. Seems to be feeling down too. Is she now? She seems the same as ever to me. You don't get it, huh? It's all put on cheeriness. She still hasn't been able to cope with her sudden change in environment. So you might as well go with her to Lugenburg later. Why should I? I mean, I can't take her, so isn't that obvious? I'm finally free of that no noisy knock that uh, I decided I would rest for today. I can just take her tomorrow or some other time. Today is good though, because today... It's the yearly festival. Ah, <sighs> is it that time of year already? So you want to let her meet the residents while they're being festive. Very well, I understand your point. Oh, right. And there was one of them who said, Ba wants to meet her in person, goat. Him, huh? Well, I suppose I owe it to him. I see no harm in them meeting. Okay then, time to get going. Let me rest a bit first. Sheesh. Gah. I can't move how I wanna. This little compact thing ain't suited for me. Hey, Runt, you got a second? Could you spill some of your blood? Hey, Brat, you listening? Because of you, I lost my family and my home. Eh? What are you talking about? Wasn't my fault, was it? It was all because your heart was there, for father and for Gordon. Ah? Don't know nothing about that. Wasn't it just stuff a human and one of my servants did on their own? Hell, didn't even remember that old coot was there. Sure, maybe my heart pulled the trigger, but you're wrong to hate me for that, got it? Because I was just a heart. Literally no arms, no legs, not even a mouth. In fact, till I revived in the coot's body, I wasn't even conscious. See? You weren't even conscious? But you fought with Lord Arn. When I woke up in the old coot's body, Nine Toot was standing in front of me. Ain't that a good enough reason to fight? What in the world? So, are you just an idiot? What? I ain't no idiot. I'm super duper smart, okay? Matter of fact, ain't you been making fun of me way too much? I'm one of the Vampire Kings, see? Be more afraid. When you took over Lord Arn's body, I certainly was afraid, but... It was really Lord Arn I was afraid of then. As for you... Right now, I'm thinking of you as a talking soft toy, so trying to threaten me when you look that cute isn't going to scare me at all. Damn it! So, you really didn't do anything to Father Gorg Gordon. I keep saying Gorgon. I'm telling you nothing! You don't get things quick, do you, runt? Understood. As much as I would have liked to blame you, in the end, it's father who's the cause of it all. I'm sorry. Not like I care whether a human likes me or hates me, but sure. Well, I'm sure we'll get to talk like this a fair bit from now on. If I don't accept you, I don't think I'll be able to move forward. So? I hope we can get along, Nozers. <laughs> Who are you calling Nozers? What's the problem? It's easier to say, and it suits your looks perfectly. I made that stuff toy, so be grateful, okay? You made this messed up weirdo creature, runt. It's not weird or messed up, it's cute.
Come to think of it, you're a human, yeah? What are you doing in a place like this? After I lost my house and parted ways with Lord Arn. Oh, though the reason I lost it was because you destroyed it, Nazars. Come on, that's a nine toot. For having the nerve to dodge my attack. Ah. <sighs> After parting ways with Lord Arn, I realized I had nowhere to go. So before I knew it, I was going after him. The same place you come for reasons like that. I guess neither Lord Arn nor I really understand that, huh? I lost sight of, Arn of Lord Arn, but... On a hunch, I tried going to the place where I was first transported to Lugenberg. There, I strongly wished to go to Lugenberg again and to meet Lord Arn. And the pendant I got from Mother started to glow. And I came here. <sighs> Good for you. But I'm a little surprised you'd ask me something like that, Nazars. Seriously, who are you calling Nazars? It's not like I'm really interested, but I can't move. Not much to do but talk with you, right? Really? Lord Arn never talks with me at all. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm just trying to kill time. So, no noble girly, who has come all this way. Why are you in this beat up old room? This was the most preferable option, honestly. There's at least... There's at least room to sleep here. The other rooms are even more hole-filled and ruined. Apparently, repairs are a separate matter from the brownies' housework. But I was like, I can fix this up in no time. I guess I got a little pretentious myself, huh? Looks pretty awful, considering... I wonder what it is. The more time passes, the more I just don't want to do anything. <sighs> Lord Arn. What's this? You haven't cleaned up at all? This hardly seems like a whole... Uh, this hardly seems like a noble lady's room. You barge into a maiden's room and that's the first thing you say? A maiden's room? Well, I don't care about that. We're heading out. Come along. H heading out? Where? And he's gone. What could this be about? Hey, take me along too. You hold down the fort, Nazars. It's a pretty big place, so try to get walking soon. Who are you calling Nazars? Well, I'm going now. Hey, hold on! Oh, slap me. Device to... Thanks for your hard work. This Durani got us a treasure vault. Okay, it's the same. Okay, I can finally talk to these people. Thank you for everything you do. The brownies seem to understand me, but I can't understand what they say. Evidently, some species can speak human language while others can't. Good evening. I should learn to emulate the brownies' housework, housework skills. Apparently there's a throne room up, up here, but I'm not allowed to enter. I wonder why not. There's nothing for me here this way. Alright. Actually, what if I... Can I go? No, no, no. Go back. There's nothing for me this way. Alright, fine, 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 you bitch. Slap me. This opens the secret passage to the basement. Really? Why have this strange device? A gravestone. There probably isn't anything buried underneath. Lord Arn, where are we going? Isn't this the way out of the castle? Just follow me. Hmm. 
l l l l down. What is all this? Today is the Lugenberg Festival. Though, it's a little more than an assembling of individuals. It's a little more than an assembling of individuals. Each just does as they please, be it drinking or dancing. And there's no mistaking that, they're being festive. Today, I suspect that even you would be accepted by these lot. Lynn Reinweiss. That's what Zixia said at any rate, so I've taken you here. Thank you very much. So if they accept me, then what? Then you'll have to walk around Lugenberg freely, even on your own. Really? You seem to be feeling down lately, so... Even you needed a change of pace, yes? Ah, you took notice. Um. <laughs> I didn't notice whatsoever. Jishia just told me as much. Sure enough. I guess it's Jishia I should, I should thank. I should thank. Oh my god. Words. Thank me for bothering to take you out too. I'm just kidding. Thank you very much. Yes. Very well. So then. Jishia has made arrangements with most everyone. So, you should have no issues, but... Oh, a fairy. Hey, listen. One resident said he wanted to meet you in person. Let's go meet him first. An exclamation mark appears of a character's events that will progress the story. Let's go meet the resident who wants to meet Lynn in person. Oh, no, I want to I do optional dialogue first. Now, before we go, I'll give you this. C -c could this be? No way! Uh, a ball made of Lord Arns? Don't get so overstimulated, idiot. I I mean... If you hold this, I'll know where you are within a certain distance. I don't want the hassle of you getting carried away, partying, and going off somewhere. Thank you so much, I'll treasure it as a family heirloom. Gah. Give that back later. I don't think I trust you with it. Ah, <laughs> This girl. At any rate, I'm saying not to wander off alone. Now let's go. Yes. Can I not talk to the fairies? No. I want to get good at drumming. Like my... Naga inspiration here. How cute. Give it your all. I'm rooting for you to get better. This teddy bear attacks humans at night, you know? If they get good at drumming, they're considered to have reached maturity and go into the human world. N no need to rush, of course. In fact, I think it's cuter if you're bad at it. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Naga. Still a kid, so I got two heads. But never mind that. This festival's a blast. If you got a request from me, I'll play it on these drums. You can set the background music for Lugenberg. You inst. You got it. Tell me if you got another request. Oh, it's the opening. I mean... <laughs> Cancer. You got it. Oh, it's this. Okay. Spoiled mood. A little awkward. You got it. Horror 2. You got it. Tell me if you got another request. Night flight. You got it. Tell me if you got another request. Oh, this is the one that was here before. You know what? Let's do the opening. You got it. Alright. Huh? We're done. Where are you going? Right. Let's take care of that meeting first. 
My hubby here can really drink them down, can't he? That's why I fell for him. I don't understand the taste of salamanders. I'm sure she thought it was manly of him. Maybe. I drinks and then I spit more fire. This salamander. He once got drunk and kept spitting fire, causing a huge conflagration in town. What you drinking, please? Hey, Santar, what are you doing? 101, 102, 103, 104. Seems he won't pay attention. You're blocking the way sleeping here. It seems like she's drunk. Well, there's no need to go there anyway, no matter. No. Oh wow, that was so perfectly timed. Here, I brought her. Buzz been waiting, goat. Wow. So you're Lynn, goat. Buzz name is sheep, goat. Mail carrier who won't eat the letters. Sheep. You're so fluffy and cute. Baz, not just cute goat. Baz, a superb mail carrier and jack of all trades. Jack of all trades? Ba prepares human world food for you, Lin. And for Arn, Ba acts as an inter in intermediary to convert various client payments into blood, goat. So you provided the food I was getting, Mr. Sheep? Thank you very much. That's just Ba's job, goat. If you'll keep being Ba's patron, there's no need for the mister. Okay, Sheep it is. I hope you'll keep it up. Consider it kept up, goat. Now can we leave? I want to go, I want to go around some more while we're here. I mean, look, I eat to mingle lots while I can. <sighs> Very well, let's walk around a little longer. Some be missed. Also, if you complete the mini games in later events without mistakes, you should sure have a reward at the end. You can now go somewhere new. Okay, so that's where the story... What is this? I don't recall this being here before. That's a rock sa- yeah, That's a rock paper scissors game, goat. Bob brought it from the human world and modded it, goat. Since it's the festival, Bob will let you play for free. Did you hear that, Lord Arn? Is it okay if I play? Do as you please. You can now play the mini game Rock Paper Rock Paper Sheep. It isn't relevant to beating the game or the perfect bonus, but you'll get a little reward for ten wins. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Here's a tutorial. Rock Paper Sheep is a rock paper scissors game about increasing your win streak. It's controlled entirely with taps. Uh, tap one of the three RPS cards at the bottom and the center screen will, with sheep will show you his move. By tapping three, wait, by tapping the characters on the left and right, you can use special skills. All the skills give you an advantage in RPS. So be sure to try them. Try to reach a win streak of 10. Okay. We're on the screen. 
Baz borrowing the memories of the players, Lin and Arn, to display the characters, goat. Any further detail or a trade secret, goat? I'm not sure I get it, but it all seems pretty amazing. It is goat. Select a card for rock, paper, scissors. You can also use a skill. Of course. You lost. When streak went back to zero. Play again? Yes. It's a draw. It was a draw, so pick a card again. You can also use a skill. It was a draw. Again. Of course. Um... Of course. Um, let's use a skill then. Grant unconditional victory. Also, when using Lin's skill, you win from a draw. But I thought I picked Arns. You win. Win streak plus one. Select the card. Rock over scissors. You can also use a skill. For three turns, even a draw will count as a win. If you win with a draw, you get plus one to your win streak. Let's use it. Just leave it to me. That's fine. Even in a tie. With... Uh, the one with the stronger will wins. One thanks to the effect of Lin's skill. Win streak plus two. I can keep going. Two turns on Lin's skill. Let's do... Scissors. Oh! You win. Win streak plus one. I can keep going. I've seen this development in the book before. Why the fuck are you here? And guess what? The culprit threw scissors. Sheep won't throw scissors on the next turn only. Cancelled if there's a tie. So won't throw scissors, so rock is useless. So... I guess paper? Cause yeah. A tie is still a win. Even in a tie, the one with the stronger will wins. One thanks to the effect of Lin's skill. Lin streak plus two. The effect of Lin's skill expired. I shall carry if these plates. Wow, This doth be nothing to me. Elisa safely moved all the plates. Win streak plus two. What, what is alter win count? Quickly mash the button that appears on screen and your win streak will increase accordingly. Alright, let's do losses become win become wins. When used, Jisha will flip a loss into a victory. Also, if Arn's card is unusable, there's a 50% chance. It'll become usable again after Jisha's effect activates. Yeah, use it. Wanna peek into my world for a bit? And now I don't need to worry about... Alright. You win. Win streak plus one. And let's do paper. You lost... No! What? Oh, I was one away too. Motherfucker, okay. Let's try Alter Wind Count. Mash on the display damage for 5 seconds. Fewer than 30 hits will make your streak decrease. Oh no. No! I mean... Changing win streak. Um, it's a good thing I already had zero.
I'm thinking his next move will be scissors. Yes, I think so as well. Sheep was weighed by their opinion into playing scissors on the next turn. Okay. So I can use rock. Okay. Just leave it to me. Just random. Um. Oh wait, I think I get it. Wait, wait, wait. maybe I'm. I may have found a a loophole. No. Um. Let me try this again. Hold on. I've seen this about in the book. And guess what? The culprit threw rock. Sheep won't throw rock on the next turn only. Cancelled if there's a tie. Won't throw rock. So... I don't need paper. So I guess scissors? Wait, I won't throw a rock, so... If it's scissors, yeah, yeah, scissors. Cool. And keep going. Thinking his next move will be paper. Yes, I think so as well. Alright. And keep going. That was a bit of a waste of Lin's, Lin's ability, though. Thinking his next move will be rock. Okay, alright. Scissors, okay. So, rock. I shall carry off these plates. Wow, this stuff be nothing for me. Through scissors. So won't throw scissors on the next turn only. So won't throw scissors. So I guess paper is the safest bet. Okay. try. And the altar win count. Ah! Changing win streak. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, it's still at eight, so... No! Just one more. Next move will be rock. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. I got 10. Reach 10 wins. I did it, Lord Arn. I beat the game. Did you know? Good for you. That's such a weak reaction! Congrats, goat! Bah! I give you this for managing to beat it, goat! Oh, thank you so much! Sheep's book added to notes. 
It's a summary for go for it sheep, goat. Bah, thought up the story himself, goat. Really now? That's amazing. Yes, bah, is amazing, goat. So come back again, goat. Yes, thank you. Hehe, <laughs> I got a prize. So that bizarre nonsense had a story? Alright, collection. Sheep's book. Go for it, sheep. Summary. One day, sheep was going to the human world to stock up on supplies as usual. Trick or treat. He heard an unfamiliar phrase being said all over the human town. It seems to be a stock phrase for parties. Ba gets it. It means to do a trick using treats. Goat. Plotting something. Sheep headed back to Lug Lugenberg. I mean, I can go over here now, so that I'm, I'm curious. What is this? A gallows. Those who would do harm to Lugenberg are executed here. Executed? Even if it's just a collection of individuals, the community needs to maintain a minimum of order. In fact, most of the people... Most of the time, they're just executed on the spot instead of bothering to use this. That's hardly putting me at ease. Don't worry about it so much. They're all generally docile. Right, yeah. And here I thought this was gonna be short. <laughs> Won't somebody be executed? It's a festival and all, so wanna be executed? Murder clown, why don't we execute you? <laughs> That'd be fun too. Clowns are a little scary, huh? That sort of human fear is what birth these things. That can happen? Sheesh, stop creating strange things like this. There isn't much I can do about that. What's this? A plant native to Lugenberg. Once it matures, it moves around late into the night. Moves around? How horrifying. I don't want to come close to this. It's just an object when, when not in use, paint on mind. Ah, there are mirrors in the eyes. That is for Jisya to keep watch. Really? Slapping this one doesn't do anything. Don't hit things carelessly. What if we get trapped or something? I'll be careful. It's wiggling around. If its prey isn't careful and gets too close, it'll wrap around it and make it into food. What? Let's get away from it quickly. They run way too fast with their own good. Up ahead is an area that's especially unruly, even for Lugenberg. Lots of ignorant idiots live there, you see. Their fighting is endless. Be sure to stay away. I won't be held accountable if you're eaten. Uh, okay. All this grass is calming. When you bury yourself in the ground with me? I'm sure only an Alvrune would find that calming. What about the girl there? I'll pass too, thanks. Want to get wrapped in my vines for a bit? I don't catch your meaning. That girl there seems to want it more. Very much going to pass on that. <laughs> I've seen enough hentai to know where that one was about to go. Haven't seen you around before. Oh yes, I'm the wandering fortune teller. Gonna get your fortune? Why would I have an interest in such nonsense? Yes, pick me! I want to get my fortune told! You're interested in this CD stuff? How oh, cruel, my fortune telling is rather well regarded. Fortunes are so dreamy. Well, if you want to do it that badly, do as you please. Okay. Alright, gotcha. Leave it to me. 
Well then, let's begin. What did you see? You're crying in front of a wall. Also, you'll meet a wolf. Also, it's a pretty long way off. But it seems you'll be faced with a big choice. A choice? What do you mean by that? I don't know myself. That's simply what I saw in your fortune. It doesn't sound like the most radiant fortune. Don't worry. Don't worry a little head about it. Fortunes are always bunk. Should you just be saying that? You didn't seem too pleased with it. So I'm a little downhearted myself. Or a change of mood. How about I... I divine your luck for today. Oh, so you can do that too. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Please do. I heard you loud and clear. Hey, yo! Your luck for today is Heinz class. I mean... Heinz was one of the best characters, so... Lucky item is cookware. Lucky color is white. Your next attempt at cooking may work out well. There you are. You're free to believe it or not. You won't always get the same result. If you're up for it, you can give it another try. Okay, thank you very much. Done now? Yes, sorry to keep you waiting. Your fortune changes at random. Talk to a fortune teller from one another. Want your fortune? Please. Hey ya! You're still Heinz. Oh. Your luck for today is R9 Tooth class. Lucky item is blood drawing kits. Lucky color is crimson. You might meet a human like none ever before. There you are. Okay. Again with Heinz. Stop it! It's like I'm playing a gotcha game. Burn class. Lucky item is gems. Lucky color is gold. Be careful not to get so cocky. No one likes you. Uh, I want to read these one. Oh, okay. Your luck for today is GCA class. Lucky item is mirrors. Col uh, lucky... Wait, lucky eye collar is gray. Eye collar? Is that a typo? If you're troubled, someone might give you advice. There you are. Look for today is Klaus class. Who the fuck is Klaus? Oh, that's her dad, I think. Lucky item is cameras. Lucky color is gray. You might lose something precious. Be careful. Your luck for today is Nuxera class. Lucky item is stuffed toys. I don't think that's a lucky item. Lucky color is orange. If you get into a fight, you might lose. <laughs> Damn. Hey ya! Luck for today is Gordon class. Lucky item is green tea. Lucky color is brown. Something you've kept secret might be exposed. I still haven't gotten either of the maids, nor have I gotten, uh, Kai. Yeah, this fucker. If someone told me that this dude was 
like my luck was, was like my luck uh yeah i would kill myself on the spot oh the luck for today is uh lynn Rhymevice class lucky item pendants lucky color is yellow be careful when walking alone at night Again, oh my god, this is more bad luck than anything else. Oh. Luck for today is Lynn Rhymevice again. Lucky item, movies with vampires. Lucky color is red. You might meet the vampire of your dreams. There you are. I... There better not be, uh, like, multiple characters with, like, multiple of the same characters, just with different clothes. Also, your luck for today is a Lisa class. Lucky item is plates. Lucky color is orange. Be careful not to mess up anything important. Honestly, I thought the lucky item was going to be underwear, but alright. <laughs> the risque. Alright, let's see. I think I'm only missing the... Again. Uh, I think I'm only missing the couple now. Unless I'm forgetting someone, which I probably am. Um... Again! Oh my god! Diana and Kai are, are the only ones left. Okay. Come on. Again. This is like a gotcha game. Oops. Oh. Of course. Your luck for today is Arn Nine Tooth. Lucky item is thrones, lucky color is crimson. If you aren't careful, you might get eight hearts stolen. Hey, uh. Again! That guy is like the character in Gachi you'd never want to get because you already have like ten of them. You speak of the devil. You should have burned to death. Um. There we go. Your luck for today is Kai class. Lucky item ladders. Lucky color is green. Hey, I mean. Hey. <laughs> I mean. If you make an admission of love, it might just work out. Think I should go for it? Alright, I think it's just Diana left. Oh, speak of the devil. Your luck for today is Diana class. Lucky item is rings, lucky color is green. Oh, surprisingly. So, I revealed their love for you out of the blue. Uh, I'll do one more just to see if maybe there's someone I missed, but I doubt it. That should be everyone, I hope. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well. Cool. Let's move on before I never continue. What's the matter, Bones? Hmm? So a slime stole one of your bones? Why should I have to help? I mean, he seems troubled. It's fine to at least help out, right? As if I can lend my aid to every little incident that happens. I'm not their go-to for odd jobs. What's the problem? Think of it as an easy payment. Don't show up out of a... Don't show up all of a sudden to meddle. It's me that has to go after them. I'm pretty sure it'll be a breeze, because I know that Slime is hiding real close by. Really? See, Lordarn? 
As if Tishi is going to simply tell us what he knows. That's true. Aww. Is that how you guys see me? Of course I'll just tell you. Since it doesn't seem especially amusing not to. It doesn't... It seems especially amusing not to. Oh my god. That's exactly what we mean, Tishi. Yeah. Well, in any case... Hey, Bones. If it's a job, I'll take it. However, it's a festival today, so I'll be charging a high price. Yes, understood. I'll accept it. For now, let's head the way the slime ran off. Okay, I know- I, 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 I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Okay, stop right there. It's hiding around here? That's right. It was- it really was close by. Didn't I tell you? It's easy. So, where is it hiding? Well... And that's the barrel I saw it go in. Ah, I see. The vampire went to check the barrel the slime was hiding in. Uh, this one. This the one. Huh? Are you sure it's here? No doubt. We just have to check. Um, seems I was wrong. What? No doubt. We just have to check. No? Seems I was wrong. Is it this? The DC told us... You want to say it's that one, don't you? Yes. DJ isn't looking through mirrors like windows. He's looking at the world reflected in our mirrors. So the correct answer would be the opposite direction of what he indicated. Don't think you can get away. Hmm. <sighs> Indeed, that was an easy job. Right? When it's a festival, even I can be honest and help out. That's our Zizia. And would you have described the position the same way if it were Lin Reinweiss looking instead of me? Obviously. Because it's fun watching Lenny panic. What? Now we've taken care of that little job. Let's get back to walking around Lugenberg. Oh, that's right. See you guys around. I still can't go over here, right? Yeah, okay. I need to change the music. <laughs> this is getting a little old. Let's do spelled mood. A little awkward. Perfect. What about the harpy? Uh, can't talk to the harpy. Uh... Alright, well... Guess there's only one place left to go. Uh... Uh... You... Wow, fairies! Wait, huh? They seem kind of troubled. It would appear so. Well, it's of no importance to me. What's the matter? Hey, don't just stick your nose in. Hmm? Yes? Lord Arn! What? I can't understand what they're saying! Uh. What did they say? Their child got separated from them, it seems. 
Oh boy, there's like two others with the same fucking colors. That's terrible. Let's help them look right away. Why should I do such a thing? I mean... Children should be with their parents. I'm sure their child is feeling really lonely and uncertain. So you might say. But the fact these two are here means... Yeah, good luck. What's all this? The fairies have come to Lugenburg for the festival. After partying it up for a while, they'll leave a few behind and take off. The fairy child you wish to find is within here somewhere. But they'll move again, won't they? In that case, we have to find them while they're still, s uh, while they're still stopped here. <sighs> I'll ask them to describe their child after that. I'll ask them to describe their child. After that, do as you will. Okay. When you find the lost fairy, click mission... Okay. Uh, the target fairy will will be shown to you. Find it within this group and click it. Why does it keep disconnecting? If you can't find it within ten seconds, the fairy flock will go off on their way. Target is okay. I see it. I found them. Wow, I found it. that took me zero point like zero point ten seconds. Collection fairy notes of updated notes. Oh, well, that's just adding insult to injury. Ah. Uh. Did something catch your attention? N no, it's nothing. I see. I'm glad I was able to find them, okay? Thank you very much too, Lord Arn. Don't worry about it. After all, I took out I took it on as a job. Sheep will receive payment from the fairies later and convert it into blood to send me. When did you Do you think I would deign to work for free? Now let's keep looking around. I'm glad. I'm really glad. Baz regards, goat. Yes, thanks in advance. Can I... Read the instructions? No. If I get another 10, but... Okay, well... In my dreams, I guess. It's alright, my dear Lin. A mother's love distorted the results. Even if it's a tie, I win. The book once. And guess what? The culprit threw scissors. So they won't throw scissors. So... Paper. There we go. One. Thinking his next move will be rock. Alright, 
So, scissors. So scissors. No, you fucking bastard. Next move will be scissors. Alright, throw rock. Cool. Then I made food, so eat up. Thank you very much, Heinz. So his skill can be used again. Okay, so it doesn't actually. Alright. Alright, I'll just do it until I lose, I guess. Alright, there we go. Alright, I was just curious. Alright. He's still... Hey, Santa, what are you doing? Seven... Seems you won't pay attention. 991, 992, 993. Excuse me. What are you doing? Got... Huh? I forgot how many lifts I did. When I reached a thousand, I was going to profess my love. It has to be 1,000 times. Exactly 1,000 times. What's all this about? How worthless. It's not worthless. It's a wonderful... It's a wonderful thing. How many was it? What was the last number I counted? Go on then, Brian Vice. Answer him. Uh, um... 993. It was 993. Right. I thought it was around there. Good luck with the last seven. Okay, I'll work hard on the rest. Alright, now to just confess. Thanks. I hope it goes well. I don't follow. Okay, now I just have to confess. Lord Arn, you don't understand the girl's heart. Of course I wouldn't. And besides, he's a man. So, will that nonsense increase your chance? You don't understand a girl's heart? Of course I wouldn't, besides as a man. Oh, what's this? There's some kind of ruckus going on here. What is it this time? After completing the next story event, you won't be able to do any side events. to who mm, guess I won't get to see it all right unless it's the harpy up there I go up no I cannot Alright, so I think I've done everything. They seem to be arguing about something. Don't bother, this happens all the time. It seems like they want someone to decide which of them is at fault. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Festivals, I tell you. Mimic, bone kangaroo. I'll be considering this a job, is that a problem? It seems they want you to make it clear-cut. Very well, let me hear your respective excuses. The vampire decided to hear the two's claim and decide which of them was at fault. Can't decide or both at fault. Listen to both statements and click the one you think is blameworthy. Got drunk and bumped into them. They ran over my tail. If you can't say... If you 
can't say either is to blame, choose can't decide. If both are to blame, choose both at fault. Um, got drunk and bumped into them. I would say that one's at fault. I yelled at them. I glared back. Both at fault. I yelled at them some more. I didn't respond. That's you then. Just want to go home and sleep. I want to dance. Can't decide. I tried to get out of the way. I didn't feel like moving aside. Tried to get out of the way. I didn't feel like moving aside. That doesn't make sense though, because if you tried to get out of the way and you didn't move at all, then why is there an issue? Um, I was rolling down the middle of the road. I was dancing in the middle of the road. That's both a fault. Now then, it's time to issue judgment. The one who drunkenly picked a fight is to blame. That's true though. They don't seem to accept your judgment, Lord Arn. But it seems they'll try to reconcile. Then why argue in the first place? Like that. No way, they're fighting again. And reconciling again. Sheesh, I can't even tell if they're friendly or not. Ah. Uh. Now, about the payment for my meditation. For, for my mediation. Meditation, what the fuck am I on? Huh? Oh! What are the others doing right now, I wonder? I should have at least gotten their contact information. So, I'm at this part, and... I might as well just show this on screen since it is technically the... Okay, so... So... Got drunk and bumped into them. Then I yelled at them and glad back. Both are fault, which I'm pretty sure is what I clicked. I yelled at them some more. Just wanna go home and sleep and wanna dance. Can't decide. I didn't feel like moving aside. I was dancing in the middle of the road. I think... I think I had them all right, except for that last one. I'm pretty sure. Wow. Now then, it's time to issue judgment. Both are to blame in their own ways. If one is at fault for drunkenly picking a fight, so too is the one dancing in the street. Collection. Weekly Ludenberg added to notes. Looks like they accepted your judgment and they've reconciled. Naturally. No, wait, they're fighting again. And reconciling again. Sheesh, I can't even tell if they're friendly or not.
We're done. Are you done yet? Wait there, Lin Rhyme Vice. These fools aren't under understanding me at all. This is why I hate drunk cards. I'll finish up sh shortly, so just sit there. I told you, stop trying to pass me a drink. <sighs> Lugenberg, the town of non humans. It's such a strange feeling for there to be no humans around. I felt lonely when I was isolating myself in my room, too, but for some reason I feel far more lonely here. Even the residents of Lugenburg have family and friends of their own. They have all sorts of connections. Sure enough, I don't have a place here, do I? Seeing as it's a festival, at least once, I wish I could have come with mother and father. Huh? What's that song? What a pretty voice. It feels really calming. It's coming from over here. Lord Arn's still going to be at this a while. It should be fine to look around a little. It's a festival Lord Arn told- It's a festival Lord Arn took me to. So, I have a duty to have fun. Probably. I heard some nice music, so I thought now was my chance. But she rejected me for being shorter than her? Aww. That's too bad. I don't need this book anymore, I'll give it to you. Huh? Well, thank you very much. Good luck book, add it to notes. Po 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 po. I don't understand what she's saying, but she seems disappointed. Nice song, huh? Makes the drinks go down better. I, I think you'd better slow down. Dordan is still going to be at this for a while. It should, should be fun to look around a little. That's a nice song, goat. It is, isn't it? Listening to it makes me feel calm. Let's, uh... Wait, fairy notes. Lugenberg Review. 5 out of... Uh, out of 5 stars. Environment, 4 stars. There's a bad part of town, but most residents are docile. Food, 2 stars. The nectar in the human world is tastier. Amusement, 2 stars. Hardly any specimen who would dance with me. Overall, 3 stars. Not especially charming for... Not especially charming for a fairy, but the... Pleasantness of there being no humans to see you is a big plus. Good luck book. A book of good luck charms. Ob uh, observed by centaurs. Mainly it's about lifting spears, throwing spears, toppling spears, spinning spears, kicking spears, breaking spears, salting spears, stir frying beef with spears. Basically, about a hundred different charms involving spears. Good to know. I I would do the same. There's a fairy there. Also, how the fuck do the waterfalls work? Like, it's like a symmetrical like like shape like I, I don't know how to explain it but like it's literally folded like it would be you guys have eyes you you, you can tell you you can see what I mean just, just look at the waterfalls and you'll see what that can't be why? Why? Oh, hello there. Mother! I thought you were burning in hell. Mother! Mother! Huh? Why? 
I feel sleepy. Mother. Eh? Where am I? Right, mother! It's my room? Well, so it was a dream. All of this, it was just one long dream. A dream. What was I dreaming about again? I feel like it was something important. Well, I can't remember, so oh well, I suppose. Anyway, I think I was sleeping a long time. I'm starving. Let's go have some of Heinz's cooking. Oops. Can't go out of my jersey. I'll get yelled at if I don't change. By who? Hmm. I'm feeling kind of hazy. I'll think about it after I fill up my stomach. Let's see. My dress. My dress. Huh? Huh? It's kind of stained. All red and black. When did it get dirty, I wonder? Maybe I can ask Diana to clean it? Well, nothing to be done. I'll just go like this. And let's say my other clothes are all dirty too. This must be the divine will of the Jersey God. To wear a jersey as my appointed fate. So with that settled, let's go out to the dining room. Good morning, mother, father. Good morning, Lynn. And good morning to everyone else, too. <laughs> And then, so this movie, right? Gosh, that Lord 9... 9 uh, That Lord 9 tooth. He's really evil, but super strong. Oh, is that right? <laughs> the butler is missing. From the memory. And I got yelled at for climbing trees again. Who was it yelling at me again? Oh my, he he he. You know, Elisa apparently has some risque underwear in her closet. Uh, sorry, that's not a per that's not an appropriate topic while we're eating, huh? Huh? Why would I know about Elisa's risque underwear? How wonderful, he he he. Thanks for the meal. It was delicious as always. Mother, father, you have work after this, don't you? If you can find some time, would you go to the festival with me? He 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 he. Mother, why is that so? He 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 he. Uh, are you okay? Ow. Huh? The festival isn't near here, is it? Gosh, what am I talking about? <laughs> I'd better get back to my room. Oh, really? <laughs> hmm? Something fell out of my pocket. What is this thing? A little ball? My head. It hurts. Lord Arn? Right, that's what happened. Where is Lord Arn? Oh dear, he 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 he. Please answer me. Why is that so? He 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 he. This is a dream. <coughs> this is just a dream. Mother passed from her illness, and father was murdered. So this isn't possible, right? 
Why? Why am I having the stream? Why did I have to notice it was one? Because I said I had no place. Because I'm being selfish. <sighs> but even so, this place... It's not where I belong anymore. But isn't it comfortable? Of course it is. Mother and father are both here. Then you can stay like this forever, right? I can't. Why not? Because this is where my past self belonged. And now I have a different place to go back to. Go back to do what? Mope around again? You don't have a place, do you? No, I don't. After all, I was waiting to be given one. Yet, I guess this is what I got as a result. It seems I need to make my own place to belong. I've realized now, that's what I need to move forward. To let go of the things I was clinging to, not wanting to lose my old place. To bravely extend myself into somewhere new. If I'm just by myself, there's no way I can create the kind of place I seek. If one person... <sighs> If one person is a point, two make a line. A group of them makes a plane, then a solid. And I'm sure that's where I'll find my place. And also, I've realized we're already connected. So I'm going to leave this place. There's no point in being here, where I can't connect with anyone. You can't. Eh? Because you'll definitely be much happier staying here. Not if you look like that, it won't. Eek. Okay. You can stay here forever. I don't want to be in this place at all. I have to run. But where? That ball's moving on its own. Maybe. I'll go after it. I won't let you escape. The girl ran after the bat, but bizarre things obstructed her path. Oi, 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 what? They hear him live happily. What? The chair was in the way, so I, I couldn't move. Uh, also, uh, immersion break. Ah, shit. I don't think the layout of the mansion was designed for a chase scene. There we go. Oh shit, no, 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 You fucking bitch. N no. Help me, Lord Arn. Not really sure what that was, but I feel like I definitely can't get caught. No shit, Sherlock. Oh yeah, I can do this, probably. Here? Okay. Outside. Alright. No, you don't. Okay, I got it.
Why did you run? My family. That was where I belonged. What I was given first. And I thought that if I lost them, I would be left all alone. Because that's just how much I lacked any other connections. That's why I gave you a place. You can't force something on someone who doesn't want it. But you seemed like you were pushing yourself. I guess so. I was pushing myself, closing my eyes. So I couldn't see anything at all. But it's okay now. I have a place. Lynn Rhymevice. Yeah, I've got to be taking a nap out here. Get up, idiot. That hurt, Lord Arn. Awake, idiot rhyme rhyme voice. Find a find a better way to wake me up, please. Also, my name is Lynn. And after I went to the trouble of searching when you wandered off on your own, to think I'd end up finding you asleep and drooling. I wasn't drooling. I'm sure I had a dignified expression. Y yeah, that's right. It's because I've been going through a lot. Mother, she... Wait. Huh? That's a siren. Ever heard of them? Uh... The ones who's pretty... The ones who's pretty singing lures over people at sea only to drown them? Don't tell me I was going to... She had no such intentions. Granted, humans can experience hallucinations and intense drowsiness from hearing their song. That dream it gave you must have been quite a happy one. Happy. It wasn't out of ill will, forgive her. Okay. Now let's return, I'm sure you've had enough of Lugenberg. You've even lear learned a lesson, that its residents may do things like this to humans, even if unintentionally. No way, I haven't had any fun- I haven't had any fun at all yet. I'm going to be living here now, so it's my loss if I don't get accustomed and enjoy it. Come on, Lord Arn, let's go! What if I'd rather go home? You went to the trouble of drinking blood just to come looking for me, didn't you? Please don't waste that. I just drank the blood from those drunk cards, that's all. W what's that? Are you bragging that only you got to have fun? <sighs> Unbelievable. Just use some moderation. Okay. <laughs> Lamenting that I don't have a place to belong and just waiting for one to come along is no good. So I'll make a new place for myself, here in Lugenberg. I'm sure it'll be okay, after all. I have Lord Arn. Okay, um, I did not expect this to be as long as it was. I thought it would be a lot shorter, but... This is the final episode, this is the interlude. And apparently there's going to be a case 2 at some point, but it's probably yet to come out.
Hello, hello! It's Tisha. Thanks for coming to see me again. I'm happy too. The casebook of Arn was a bit of an interlude between cases. What kind of place will Lynn find in Lugenberg? The town of non-humans. Looking forward to it. But hey, as long as it's amusing, anything is fine by me. Now, but your reward. Ah, it looks like you messed up somewhere. What? The important parts for the rewards this time are the Lost Fairy, the Fight Medi the Fight Mediation, and the Slime Search. Son of a bitch. If you're up for it, try doing them flawlessly and get back to me. Well then, see you later. Hopefully this is the last thing. Hello, hello! It's Tisha! Thanks for coming to see me again. I'm happy too. Well, this installment of the Casebook of Arm was a bit of an interlude between cases. What kind of place will Lynn find in Lugenberg? The town of non-humans. Looking forward to it. But hey, as long as it's amusing, anything is fine to me, with me. Now about your reward, congrats! You met the conditions for my reward. Of course, it's just the usual kind, a world that might have been. And if it gets a reaction like "this is stupid," I'll be as happy as a co uh, I'll be as happy as a clam. Well then, be on your way. Oh. I'm impressed you didn't turn tail, leader of the West Side Gang, Arn. I'm impressed myself that you would summon me here, leader of the East Side Gang, Naxa. Naxera, I forgot how to say the name. The winner of this fight will be the strongest gang leader. Well, fuck is fuck is this West Side Story? <laughs> A suitable title for me. Now, let us dance joyously beneath the crimson sun. I'm a murderizer. Please stop. Please, don't fight over me. You. You're... I can't choose either of you. You know, this ain't the time to be doing this. Indeed. I was just thinking the same thing. Both of you. Who the hell are you? Back off, you damn old coot! Who are you to think we're fighting over you? <laughs> what? I'm being cornered by two attractive guys. Oh no, what's gonna happen to me? Yeesh, that's gotta be the worst one yet. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. It's not like anything in that world matters to us. Okay, that's the end of this installment of the Casebook of Arn. I look forward. I look forward to us meeting in the next case. See ya. That's the last one.